Miami, Florida. We're in this beautiful park right by my condominium, walking distance, just chilling. I got a couple light pounds to go right now, so I'm just chilling, not too much abuse on the body. Hop in the sauna for a little bit and get it done. Maybe some volleyball with the mamas over here, you know? We'll be working. Sweating today, you know? The money's not why I'm here, you know? I've been good on the money for a minute. You know, I welcome it, and I shouldn't say it because I'm in the UFC. He's like, oh, he does it for free. Nah, I got to get paid handsomely. I love this sport. I can't walk away. I just love it. I love the training. I love this. I love that. I'm going to wake up tomorrow, cut some more weight, and get ready to kick somebody's teeth in, you know? This is what I was made for. This is what, when God was creating me, he intended me for this sport. Combate. You're ready. How many rounds? I need a sparring partner about your size, man. We brought boxing gloves too, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jorge. What's up, brother? Ready? Oh, there we go. Thank you. Got it. Let's go. Wait for the time. Look at these guys. <laughs> It's always nice to have people around that are that are you know positive, have good energy, and it just brings the mood up. Especially in a room where we're sharing with a lot of other fighters, a lot of other teams, because you know weight cut night sucks. You know people get grumpy, and it's never a lot of fun. So it's nice to have people around that are you know looking to have a good time. <laughs> He's looking pretty good, you know? Some guys get a little upset, some guys get a little cranky. But uh, I don't know, Gilbert's having fun. He was, he was smiling a lot while he was punching me in the face, which he seems to like a lot. He likes, he likes hitting people. He likes hitting people a lot. He likes hitting me. <laughs> Gilbert's even, man. He's cool. He's a cool dude. He's professional, and he knows what he's got to do, you know? He'll be on weight. He's done really well this week. He's crushed it. Israel's a special athlete, especially when it comes to cutting weight. It's a funny thing, the science of cutting weight, but Israel just has a lot of the characteristics that make cutting weight a lot easier. Like, it's never easy cutting weight. I'm not saying that, but for Israel, there's a lot of cards that are stacked in his favor. So when we do this process, what I'm really coming in to do is just optimize it. And I've worked with Israel for so long now. We've just got this process so dialed in. So. I'm really looking forward to it. It's always a good process with Izzy, and he always comes in healthy to the scale, which is what matters most. All right, thank you all for being here for the official weigh-in for UFC 287, Pineda versus Adesanya 2, and our first athlete to the stage. One of the men around whom this fight card was built, the future Hall of Famer and former UFC middleweight champion, Last style bender, Israel Adesanya. 184 and a half. 184 and a half, the official weight for Israel Adesanya. All right, next fighter to the stage competing in the co-main event live on pay-per-view, the number five ranked welterweight contender, Gilbert Dorigo Burns. One seventy. One hundred and seventy pounds. The official weight for Gilbert Dorigo Burns. All right, next fighter to the stage, the man who got us back to the three hundred five, the unquestioned king of Miami. And number 11 ranked UFC welterweight contender, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. 171. 171 pounds, the official weight for Gamebred, Jorge Masvidal. All right, next fighter to the scale, the man around whom this fight card was built, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Poatan, Alex Pereira. 185. Come on. 185 pounds, the official weight for Alex Pereira. And with that, the UFC 287 main event is now 
Miami man being back here for the first time in 20 years and Adesani's got an edge to him. I thought the intensity at the press conference between those two was just crazy. Plenty more where that came from at the ceremony away and we're ready to go. UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the ceremonial way for UFC 287. Bodega versus Adesanya at two. Tomorrow night with much fanfare, the Octagon returns to the 305 Miami, Florida, USA. And in the main event, big things as the new undisputed UFC middleweight champion, Alex Pereira, puts his title on the line for the first time against his chief rival, the last style man, Israel Adesanya. Here is Joe Rogan. Bring the pots and pans, porque después que lo no quedamos para la calle, regalo la calle entera. Lo voy a matar y se lo voy a regalar a usted. I'm gonna knock you out. I'm just telling you right now, brother. Not in person, but I gotta knock your ass out. Love all of you, man. Miami, let's go. Let's go. Keep that same energy. I'm gonna kill your boy tomorrow. Let's go. Tudo que eu tinha que falar, o que eu vou falar pra vocês, amanhã quando soltar a coleira dele, eu vou prender ele na coleira de novo. The champion, ladies and gentlemen. 